and this great road will make you all rich. But to share in the riches, you must help us finish it. <laughs> all workers will receive free beer. In 1920, West Africa was a wild and mysterious frontier. Johnson, why are you so bloody late? Sir, the clock is fast. The clock has stopped, Johnson. Ah, but it was fast when it stopped, sir. The British were building an empire. And one man had an even greater vision. Mr. Johnson. That Mrs. Rudbeck is a beautiful woman. When you see her breasts, a big like pumpkin, the two of them. Your own lady latrine. And I scrape your seat smooth so you not scratch your leg at the back. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I think it's a beautiful arrangement. I think we build roads, sir. It's not on, Johnson. Maybe we don't need money. <laughs> you are a very clever geezer, Johnson. You write voucher for this, but spend it on the road. And next year, when the new money come, the road already finished. So, this is all your work. Oh, yes, sir. I myself keep all the accounts. You understand, Mr. Johnson. You have committed embezzlement and forgery. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Johnson, I want you to understand. If you plead the killing was an accident, that's one thing. But if you lost your head, that's another. What is the good of roads? Do you think we should come here and say, how quaint, and leave it at that? If we're all happy enough, who asked you to change things? From Bruce Beresford, director of Breaker Morand, Tender Mercies, and Driving Miss Daisy, comes the extraordinary story of one man on the road to civilization. Mr. Johnson.